Welcome back to McGrathematics, the first and only mathematics channel on YouTube. Welcome to our first uh, online lesson, I suppose, in the age of the coronavirus. Today we are looking at the mathematics behind calculating blood alcohol content, or BAC. So let's just dive in, shall we? So BAC, just a bit of trivia to kick off, um, is defined as the number of grams of alcohol per 100 mils of your blood. Okay, so if you have a BAC of 0.05, you have 0.05 grams of alcohol in every 100 mils of blood in your body. That's the idea. Uh, so for in Australia, fully licensed drivers need to be under 0.05 to legally drive. And if you're on your L plates or your P plates, you need to have zero BAC, so no alcohol in your system at all times, which hopefully you are aware of. So in this course, we use these two uh, formulae here to calculate blood alcohol content. Uh, they're both very similar. They're involving N for number of standard drinks. Now that's not number of drinks, number of standard drinks. So quite often an actual drink at a pub or at or whatever might not be one standard drink. It could be 1.3 or 1.5 or 0.8. Okay, so N is standard drinks. Uh, H is number of hours of which you've been drinking and your and M is the person's mass in kilograms. Okay, so the top lines are both the same for both male and female calculations. The only change is the bottom line. So for female, you have 5.5 times mass. For male, you have 6.8 times mass. And that's just because of the physiological differences between men and women. They process alcohol slightly different. So there's a slightly different calculation. Okay, um, you do not need to memorize these formulas. They used to be on the formula sheet, now they're not. But if we are asking you to do a question using one of these, we will give you the formula. You'll just need to know what the N, H, and M stand for. Okay, so number of drinks, hours, and mass. Okay, keep in mind this is not an exact calculation. Okay, everyone's body is different. These for are these formulae just give you an estimation. Okay, so they're pretty close, but it's not exact science, it's an estimation. Okay, let's dive into. Um, how to calculate when your BAC is going to return to zero. So again, we have another formula for an estimation. If you take a person's BAC, so 0 0.05, 0 0.0 whatever, and you divide it by 0 0.015, you will get a number. Okay, And that number will be the estimate of how many hours you need to wait for your BAC to go back to zero, which for learners and P platers means that you can then drive again. Okay, So we'll be using these formulas today. And we'll also be using this one here. And again, it's not a case of memorizing, it's just understanding and applying. Okay, so for our first example, we have Homer had six beers, and each of those beers, like I said, not always one standard. In this case, they're 1.2 standards each. He was drinking over three hours, and his weight is approximately 128 kilograms. Don't know if that's accurate, I just made it up, sorry. We're gonna use that information and our formula to calculate his blood alcohol content. Okay, so we're going to get our formula that we just um, hopefully wrote down. And now I want you to pause the video and have a go at substituting the information in the question into this formula and see if you can get an answer. Okay, hopefully you've had a go. Now I'm going to have a go myself and we can see if we've got the same answer. So, first of all, number of drinks is six lots of 1.2. Okay, six beers, 1.2 standards each, so six times 1.2. Okay. For H, we have number of hours, which is three, and for M, we have mass, which is one to eight kilograms. Okay, those are the three figures that we're going to sub into our formula, N, H, and M. Okay, so here we go. BAC equals 10 lots of 7.2 minus 7 point time, 7.5, sorry, lots of three, all divided by 6.8 times the mass. Okay, we put that through the calculator and we get an answer of. 0 0.057, that's just been rounded to three decimal places, but quite often you'll see these rounded to two decimal places because that's usually what um, measurement we care about, 0.05 or 0.00 or whatever. Okay, in this case, I've done three, but you can do whatever. So there is our answer. So if this was uh, an Australian case, Homer would be just over the legal limit and he would have to wait before his BAC goes below 0.05. Okay? Okay, now for our second example, we have... Barney sang six uh, skewies, which in Australian means a uh, glass of beer. Uh, and they're 1.4 standards each, and he was at the pub from 4 till 6.30 p.m. 
So until what time should he wait to drive home, given that he's on his green peas, which means he needs to have a BAC of zero. Uh, the big rig weighs 155 kg, so that's his mass. Okay. So uh, once again, here's the formula. If you'd like to have a go by yourself, I encourage you to pause and see how you go, because then what I'm about to say will probably make more sense, or you can identify a mistake and then uh, work upon that. Okay. But let's work through it together in case you're struggling. So we have the three things we need, the number of drinks, the hours, and the mass. Okay. So once again, we've got six drinks, and those drinks are 1.4 standards each. So we'll do six times 1.4, which is 8.4. Hours is from 4 to 6.30 p.m., so that's two and a half hours, 2.5, and the mass is just 155 kg, okay? We're going to sub those three pieces of information into our formula, our BAC formula. Again, we're just doing the male one because we're Barney's a male name. We put that through our calculator, and we get 0 0.062, and that's, again, to three decimal places just for no real reason, okay? So there's um, an answer for Barney's BAC, but for this question, we're actually asked, until what time should he wait to drive home if he's on his green peas? So like I said, that means he needs to have a BAC of zero. So we're going to have to use our formula for determining how many hours he needs to wait for it to return to zero. Okay. So the formula we had in our notes was that the time to wait is your BAC divided by 0.015. Okay. And again, this is a rough estimate. So if we do 0.062, the BAC that we calculated, and we divided it by 0.015. Uh, can you put that into your calculator for me? I'll give you a second to wait. Now, if you press equals, your calculator should say 4.13333333. Now, that is a correct answer, but an answer that would be more useful is an answer that's in hours and minutes, okay? Easy way to convert that is when you see the 4.13333, etc. on your screen, Press the degrees, minutes, and seconds button, okay? That's the bubble comma button. It's above ENG. If you press that, it should say four bubble eight comma, which means four hours and eight minutes, okay? Now that answer is way more useful for answering the question, which is how, how much longer does he have to wait? Well, if he's stopped drinking at 6.30 and he's got to wait four hours and eight minutes, he's gonna have to wait until 10.38 at least, okay? Again, if you wanna be safe, You'd wait longer because this is an estimate, but based on the maths, that's when we can say you should be okay to drive with a zero BAC. Okay, so that's an example of using both formulas, pretty common question. And we're just going to do one more type of example. Okay, and for our last example, we have Marge drinking wine from 5 p.m. until midnight, so that must be about seven hours. Uh, she weighs 65 kilograms and she had a BAC of 0.09, which is pretty high. Definitely can't drive in any country that I'm aware of. Uh, how many standard drinks did she have? So this is an interesting question that applies uh, your equation skills because we have the BAC formula for a female. Again, the exact same, but instead on the bottom, it being 6.8, now it's 5.5. And with this one, we aren't calculating a BAC. We've been given a BAC and we're trying to work backwards to solve for number of drinks, N, okay? So we're gonna take our formula and we're gonna substitute in the information that we do have, which is BAC, we already know that. The question said she has a reading of 0 0.09, okay? Uh, number of standard drinks, uh, we don't know. That's why it's N, we're just leaving that for now. Uh, H for hours is seven, that's from five till midnight, that's seven hours, and her mass is 65 kilograms, okay? So if we do a bit of calculating here, we get that 7.5 times 7 is 52.5, and 5.5 times 65 is 357.5, okay? And now the task for us is solve this equation for n, okay? So I want you to have a think about what you would do first. Now, what I'm going to be doing first is I'm going to be trying to get rid of this fraction because typically fractions make equations more complicated. So I'm going to need to get rid of this number first, and then I'll worry about this number. So the way we get rid of a divided by 357.5 is we do the opposite of divided by, which is multiply, okay? So multiplying this on the right, these two are gonna cancel off. And on the left, we just need to do with our calculator, 357.5 times 0 0.09. And we get 32.175, okay? Now on the right-hand side, the fraction is gone. Now, like I said, we need to get rid of this uh, takeaway 52.5. So again, we're gonna do the opposite 
which is plus. So I'm going to take both sides of the equation and I'm going to plus 52.5 because now these two just make zero. So it's like it was never there. And on the left, we just need to do this sum with our calculator, which works out to be 84.675. Okay, so we're almost there. We have 10 lots of N. We want to end up with just one lot of N. We want to get rid of this 10 times. So the way we get rid of that is we divide by 10. Of course, you need to do the same thing on the left-hand side. Now, 10 divided by 10 is 1, so we just get 1N, or just N. And on the left, we get 84.675 divided by 10, which is 8.4675. So we can conclude that Marge has had roughly 8.5 standard drinks, which is objectively a pretty decent sesh. Okay, you're definitely not driving, definitely got a sore head in the morning, so... Yeah, think about your life decisions, Marge. And that will probably do it for today. So that is three different types of examples using the BAC formula as well as using the um, time to wait until zero formula. Okay, so you can have a go at some more by yourself in exercise 3F and uh, I'll put some more work up soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, good luck. Farewell. Ciao. Bye.